Good morning, everyone. Um, it's pretty day today, and and I just like I came to record the prayer. And I thought I'm not sure what I'd like to pray for. So what I'm going to pray for are the people that are struggling, the people that are that are really ill. And in South Africa, we're having a third wave of COVID right now. Um, but there are other illnesses out there. Um, we're also in winter, so there's not just COVID. Um, there's other viruses that, that are attacking our people and our children. Um, but there are those who are terminally ill. There are those who are, um, are, are, are sick from other things. There are those that are just really weary and maybe struggling with depression. So I think if we really pray for healing, healing of so many things. Um, I think that's where I'd like to go because our God is gracious and our Jesus is the great healer. So pray with me. Gracious and almighty God, we thank you. Thank you so much that you have brought us into being. You've made us. Our lives are fulfilled by a God that really um, wants to live with us and be a part of our lives. Thank you, Lord, that we are chosen by you to do that. Thank you, Lord, that I had the opportunity to choose you as my Lord and Savior, Lord Jesus. And I that was a good decision. And I can say that and I can testify you are my God because you are the great healer and that you wanted us to be the people uh, your people, the people that you love. Forgive, Lord, when we are fall short of acknowledging who you are. Forgive, Lord, when we do not know um, what we have done and we do not fix it. Forgive, Lord, show us. Walk with us, Holy Spirit. Gracious God, I pray now an intercessory prayer. In South Africa and many other places, COVID is rife again. We have a third wave. I pray for two things. I pray for less infection and I pray for greater healing, faster um, healing. But the less infection, I pray for obedience, Lord. Yes, that you supernaturally are helping that people not become infected, <clears throat> but also that stubbornness that they don't want to follow the protocols. I pray for healing of a mindset, Lord, that they aren't angry the whole time and that they do what they can to curb this this monster that has risen amongst us and i pray lord that those who decide to take the vaccines um i pray lord that the vaccines are released and not profited by because lord that is one of the ways in which you have given us to stay healthy is our vaccination programs. I pray, Lord, that the vaccinations do not affect people um, adversely because that is also a, a really, um, it's a problem. It's, and it's a real problem. So thank you, Lord, Lord Jesus, because you are the super, not the super healer, but you are actually, but you are our incredible, loving, kind, Saviour, and your healing hand is just what everybody needs. I pray for those, Lord, who are struggling with mental and fatigue and anxious and anxiety issues, Lord. Whether they are chemical hormones that are just running rife and going crazy, or whether um, people are just overworked, whether the fear of of contracting COVID or fear of other things are just mentally pushing people down. I pray, Lord, that when people get get to a mental institution or a hospital or whatever, that, that the carers, the people and the healers take their jobs very seriously. They are affected by the suffering and their hearts are given compassion. Thank you, Lord, for those healers. Thank you, Lord, for every nurse and doctor who is fighting this fight. It's a hard battle that has to be fought. 
fought. I pray for each government official in our country and in all countries, Lord, that they take this seriously and that they do they hear they get they try and hear closely from you because you are the healer of healers. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I pray for everyone who is suffering, suffering with cancer and AIDS, chronic illnesses like diabetes and lupus, those who are lying on their deathbeds, Lord. I pray that you do not make them linger any longer than you have to. I pray that you give them release. Thank you, Lord, for those um, people that are fighting against illness and saying, I stand up and I am strong because God is with me. Thank you, Lord, that you do stand up. We can say it with confidence. Thank you, Lord, that we can come and just lay all our cares at your feet and you pick it up and you put your arm around us and you say, you are mine. And I am yours. So, Father God, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, I pray for healing for this world and this planet as a whole, as there are places dying and struggling. I pray for them. I pray healing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful day and we'll speak again tomorrow.